morning and welcome to the ADH version, ADHD version of Mother Trucker. What are we up to today? Well, let's not even discuss what uh, we aren't doing today, which is driving. Uh, first of all, I just got, I, I've been sitting here organizing my truck and I've got all this stuff flowing around in my brain, so we're just going to go with it. So organize okay first of all if you get the reference of the song that's my first thing what is in my teeth dip or food or both anyways that is my first thing is my hair okay okay ladies especially uh, there's a few guys that might watch but um i am sick of my hair coming down and being in my face right you know when, when i'm out there and i'm cranking up the trailer or I'm trying to hook up the you know then I get this in my face and it's like driving me crazy and um, short of cutting it shorter I'm looking for ideas I bought these stupid things a Dollar Tree but I can't seem to figure out how to wear it properly so uh, tips suggestions ideas because um, I'm seriously thinking about going back to the really short haircut that I used to have um, those of you who knew me or yeah, who knew me back when I had the little It's kind of like a flat top only Maybe a little tad bit longer anyways uh, Second thing in organizing my truck. I just want to tell you one thing boxes are not your friend when you drive a truck Boxes are not your friend. Okay, so Remember I told you about my Weilers that I love so much Okay, so while I was on downtime, I went to, uh, I was in North Carolina with the baby and, uh, well, and my, the rest of my family too, but the baby. <laughs> and, uh, I went to the Dollar Tree there and I found two, not two boxes, two cases of boxes of these, which each one had one missing. So I got 10, a total of 10 boxes. And each one has 10 in it. So I got a hundred of these to go, of these singles to go. 10 boxes. Let me show you what I did. This is 40. This is 40. Okay. And then I have another, actually, this is 20 plus some snapples and stuff. And then I think, yeah, then I have another 40. Yeah. Okay, so boxes are not your friends. Let me tell you something, and I'm not referring to female genitalia. Okay, next thing brand new truck, a uh, little bit of a tour. Uh, actually, let me just talk about some of the good things about the brand new truck. Uh, first of all, curtains. Look at this. I got front curtains. Yeah, baby. That gives me all this much extra space to be naked. All this much extra space to be naked right here. And it's probably a little uh, cloudy looking because I've been vaping. Um, second really, really good thing. I'm going to turn. I'm just going to turn this around. Room for my refrigerator. Yeah. So I have my refrigerator, my coffee pot. My microwave they're all right here really great awesome things okay uh, seemed like there was something else that was really good that I was excited about how about that it doesn't smell like man funk it's got that brand new car smell even when I came back from home time it still had brand new car smell I was like sweet okay negatives uh, storage storage is definitely a problem because I lost all this storage space right here that was here. Um, we've got these up here, which look, I've got this packed. I got this shit packed. There's stuff in there. There's stuff there. Oh, uh, there's stuff everywhere. Look at this one. Yeah. And a whole bunch up there. Okay. Storage is definitely a problem. Oh, and look at my closet. Stuff just falls out of it. Well, no, don't. Let's not look at my closet. We're not. We're not going to do that. Uh, so, ne number one negative thing: I'm broke down right now in a brand new 2019 truck. 
Um, and I'm getting zilch assistance from people. So, uh, but I think being organized, it might have been a big part of my problem because now that I'm a little more organized, because I've been I spent today organizing, I feel like full of energy and wow! <laughs> you guys are gonna think I'm absolutely whacking nuts. I know. Uh, seems like there was something else I was gonna tell you. Give you a tour. I told you boxes are not your friends. And now some boxes you just can't help. You know, I mean, boxes take up more space than you need. Uh, like I said, this is the ADHD version, the ADD version of Jolly of Mother Trucker. So, welcome to my world today. Ah! Um, oh, another negative thing. Okay, I don't, I don't get this at all. Look, right here. There is a vent. Okay, obviously this right here was meant to be the control. Like there's light switches, there's the, the air conditioner, and but there's a vent right here and it doesn't close, okay? So if you sleep with your head here, with your head here, which I do, um, it blows on you. And it's, I like a little bit of air blowing on me, but from a distance, like that's right up in your face. So that's a problem. So my solution is I, I block it with my backpack and it, it diffuses the air upward. Uh, number two bad thing, the, like, all, like, okay, first of all, I get that there is a, an inverter down here, but they also put the only two nine volt plugs in the back right there and so that means all my floor space gets cords and shit all over it and uh, yes I said shit 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 <laughs> you guys are gonna have a blast with this video make fun of me but listen I think part of the reason why I kind of slowed down on videos was number one I've been kind of uh, upset with the company but number two like I really need I need to hear from you guys if you text me, like, like, I don't want to hear this bullshit of, oh, I thought you were busy. Fuck that. Fuck that. Text me. You know, because I am all alone out here, and I need to know that you guys are thinking about me. If I get it, if it comes in my, while I'm sleeping, I'm not going to hear it, because cause I take this fancy-dancy little medicine that helps me sleep. I'm not going to hear it. No. I'm, my dispatcher can't even wake my ass up. Um... If it comes while I'm driving, I will check it when I stop. I stop just about every two to three hours. Um, and I usually go pee. I'll get a snack. I'll have to get fuel. Uh, you know, I like to... And plus, during the day, at some point when I'm driving, I have to take a 30-minute break. And I'll usually go to a truck stop and go to the bathroom and get some food. But then I usually have some time to sit. I almost always make time to look at my phone when I'm not driving. So, if I don't hear from you guys, I'm pissed. I'm pissed, okay? So, so don't give me this bullshit excuse. I need to hear back from you just as much as you guys like watching my videos, okay? Because this is for partially for my mental health. I, and I, you guys think I'm joking. I'm not. I'm serious. I'm telling you right now. Please talk back to me. I need you. I need all of you. Alright. Enough of that. Um... I don't remember what else I was going to say. Oh, I was talking about good things about the truck. There, I mean, it's a brand new truck. That's a really good thing. It's shiny. It smells good. It's got extra curtains. Um, now that it's a little more organized, I'm happier with it. Uh, I really I really like the extra curtains. I like the fact... Now, this is a little awkward. Like, my, my refrigerator is right here, and my potty is right here in front of it. I have to slide the potty off to the side um, to get into the refrigerator. But I don't get into the refrigerator all that often. And the potty definitely helps a lot when I really, really need it. So, um, I can think of a lot of negative things uh, that, you know, I got used to in the old truck. And uh, I understand why they changed it, you know, but... I can think of reasons. I can think of things that they should have done instead. <laughs> I've been seriously thinking about writing Freightliner a letter and asking them, 
if they even have a driver give them input when they design a new one because this is this is not designed for a over the road driver it's not it, it's designed to look pretty which is nice I like it that it looks pretty but I also want it to be functional okay 10 minutes what are we gonna do now oh look what I got this is my personal protection system yeah check this out ready I had, an, I had another little one, but it broke, and um, so this was 15 bucks at the truck stop, and I can use it to cut up my vegetables. <gasps> vegetables, yes. I've been trying to eat a little more healthy. I am trying, I'm working on getting, um, I want to get some things that I can cook with in the truck besides the microwave. Um, there are things that you can buy like there's a um, it's called a lunchbox oven I'm really I really was thinking I was gonna get that next but right now I think with fall coming I'm gonna invest in a truck crock pot um, you can get the little actually I might just have to get a regular one but I want one I, I'm picky I, I'm gonna get a smaller crock pot but I want one that has hand the things that bolt the lid down not bolt it but clamp the lid down so it don't because I figure in the morning I can throw some food in there. And then in the evening when I stop, I got dinner, you know. Um, and especially in, in the fall and the winter, it's going to be really, really handy. And I just need to eat more healthy. And I need to go work out. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> okay. Um, so a little bit of my story right now. Um, the truck runs but the what they call the wiring harness where it connects uh, the wires connect to the trailer it's not getting ground so I can drive I can drive all day long but I have no brake I have no lights at all on my trailer now if I drive bobtail which I drove bobtail to get here um, not a problem but for some reason the connection to the trailer and because it's a brand new truck Freightliner, I have to take it to a Freightliner dealership, and it's Sunday, and it broke down like Saturday. So I just kind of been sitting here. Uh, my um, my fleet manager, that's that's basically a supervisor for a driver. My fleet manager wants me to get in another truck while they fix this one, and I'm thinking, uh, motherfucker, no, you can pay me the breakdown uh, fee that. Uh, you're supposed to pay me, which uh, that reminds me, I gotta look that up and see how much that is. Um, but uh, yeah, Sonny, if you watch this, rent's gonna be late. Um, anyways, that's about it. That's all I can think of. Uh, I'm gonna go try to catch up on some TV programs. Um, well, not necessarily TV programs. I'm going to check on Handmaid's Tale, uh, Orange is a New Black, and uh, Mika told me about this movie called Jack Reacher. Uh, most of you guys probably know about it, but you know, I'm pretty movie deficient, especially since I've been on the road. And you see this, you see this, okay, get a little breeze, and the wind is like, and it's right here in my face, and uh, yeah, that's very annoying. It's very annoying. A Amy. Okay, my friend Amy says that I would look good in a faux hawk. Uh, you guys think I should leave it longer and somebody's going to show me what to do with it? Hang on. Is this what you're supposed to do? Yeah, see, I feel like Olivia Newton-John. Let's get physical! Okay. Or, and I don't think well, maybe it might. Okay. Or I get it cut short again, or I'll do a faux hawk. So there's three options. Leave it long, faux hawk, or spike baby again. Uh, guys, send me a vote. Right now. Text, message, whatever you do. Whatever you do. Call me. Hey. Hey, I know this is crazy, and you just met me, but <laughs> call me maybe. <laughs> Wait, that's not how the lyric goes. All right, guys, 15 minutes. That's it.
Love y'all. Mother trucker out.